that's living. Pretty good sign. I'm just up on the road, there's bloody doe and bloody doe tracks and stag pr prints with them, so I'm just here waiting for the bro. Bit of a meet up. Been talking to a few years online, a couple of different forums, and seems like good bugger, so both had nothing on this weekend, so we bloody tee up for a bit of Samba deer hunting. It's unburnt country. Deer will be as normal. Gullies are a bit bigger than the hills are a bit bigger than I thought. So I'll take it as it comes. Get down on this bloody creek down here and set up a camp. Just past the farmer. Not long ago actually and um, not long before that was a couple of dead deer in the paddock. Didn't give me the best of looks. I gave him a nice wave. So hopefully he doesn't really make a fuss over all this. Is COVID. There's a dead deer over there actually. It is COVID time so you've got to be low key. Have a look at this deer. Spiker. Shot for the meat. So that's definitely been shot just over there. These are wallows. That's a bloody bit of mud. Fresh track last night. It's all happening. She's all happening. But you know, like that's this deer that would have been shot just up off the paddocks, brought here in this stealthy little area, disposed of, cut up and then left. It's just not painting a good picture for us like doesn't at all because the fact is more that the sh legal shooting that went on now that farmer thinks that I'm a shit cunt and that anyone that drives in here is a shit cunt but it was the people at night time doing that and then doing that down here out of sight so to speak but then anyone else that comes in that road is a shit cunt whereas if that deer had been shot down in the gullies or whatever and brought to camp and then cut up and then brought here and left here well could have realistically gone another 18 metres, throw it off the edge, no one would have saw it. So like, yeah, you're doing the right thing by bringing it here in the first place, get away from where you bloody illegally shot it, no scene, but you're still not doing the right thing with the bloody animal. Anyway, don't know if we're ever going to learn, been reading all these samba hunting books and that shit and spotlighting deer and stags has been going on for fucking years. It's like you bang your head against a brick wall. We're just not going to be able to do this shit for much longer. So anyway, I'm going to change my mood and get into the hunting mood. Walk around the bush and enjoy it for a little bit because that shit sucks. Warm barrels. You.
that's a good sign. Just left Josh, he's gone across the river. And I'm just gonna sneak up over the gully, over a ridge onto the river and then back up it. That's a really good sign to see that wallow. Fingers crossed. starting to get thick now. I have to take the sunny spur and just try and get a bit of elevation. The deer aren't here, obviously, I don't think. Still down the flats. So that could be good for later. Nice bed for the afternoon sun. So it gives me a pretty good idea that this would be for the afternoon sun. They're going to be probably on the other side of the hill or ridge. So I'll stick with that. Good rub over there. Fucking winded. Just got winded. That sucks. It's just over here too. That wind's just swelled enough. So the morning 
sunny side to what I am was making quite a good bit of noise coming my way and this breeze just swelled enough and it just ran off I'm just gonna hang tight for another 10 minutes dumb gun I didn't wait 10 minutes waited about three. I've been behind that tree just there. That whole time I've moved three metres and put up a deer and just ran straight in front of me. Luckily it was just a big car stag, big body, no handlers. What were those other ones? There was definitely something with handlers. So anyway, that's my fuck up. So stand. So those other deer weren't that far away, but the fog I can't see bloody. I see probably 30, 40 metres in front of me. And they happen to be in the fog right now. That was a good group, so I'm gonna just keep cruising. Jeez.
There she goes. Yeah, if I can ram for those, and there's those two in the end, so carry on. Good times. Just gonna grab my camera anyway and say it's a bloody nice little gully. Pee the winds on me back. But good vision. Love this spot. Can I just make my way down in through that gully? Sweet. I just hope Josh is having as much fun as I am. It's a pretty good country too if this is anything to go by, so crossed here and bloody pops and come over there.
interesting. Google Earth is not the greatest guesser of the land. It's a good guess, but it's not nothing to go by. If anything, it just shows you where the fucking creeks are and where the roads are, that's about it. But anyway, it's fucking sweet. I'm so stoked to be here. I'm just gonna make my way back to camp. Haven't got my phone, I reckon. It's gonna be that early, a bit too early. So hopefully Josh is just having a good old hunt and fills his day in and whatnot. And um, I'll see him back at camp with a bloody nice stag, hopefully. Have a go of him. Nice old boy.
That was fucking all the time. That was awesome. That was awesome. Finally found the shade up in the tree line, huh? Funny that. Fucking snowing three days, four days ago, and it's fucking sunburn material today. Jesus, I've bitten off a lot more than I chew, chew, I think, but I'll chew it, but it's like, I'm looking on the Google, I'm like, oh, I'll just pop over here, and I'll be able to get here, and I'll be able to come around here. Well, I popped up there, and then I went down here, but then ended up over there, and now I'm here. And um, here is where I thought I would have been a couple of hours ago. So I'm having an hour's smoker. And I reckon I'm going to punch it up here. Well, I'm just stoked to see that deer. That's a day made. I didn't give one fuck what happens now. I just bloody hope Joshy has a good day and shoots a deer. And we might have to go and blow some does this afternoon up. This other joint where I've seen all those does. You'll be keen on that, I think, so we'll bloody put that idea forward later. Depends what time he gets back. He might not go back to bloody ages either. We're on the same page. Um, what's going on and what's going to go on, and that's all cool. Can't ask much more than that. Good buggers. Good bugger Sam Hunter.
didn't work too bloody well. Got the doe, she jumped up real high. Just let me the other ones over here. Beauty. Next shot. Fuck, that'll happen pretty quick. Got that, not quick really, actually took ages, but just shoot that first one. Hopefully, see that she jumped and then took off, and then the younger one just went up into the clearing. And I can just see her neck sticking out, so I'll give it one as well. I'm gonna get the back shots out of that and take it back to camp. That's a successful day in my books. I've seen two stags, one big cast here, can like rut it up. One, that good stag earlier, nice mature stag, and then um, oh, I think that's about eight, eight doe, these two, so I'm bloody stoked. Cut her up and head back. Shot off there, it's down in there. Somewhere. See one dead one down here. Maybe I missed that one in the neck. Fucking don't know where that other can see. There's one down there. Have a quick look and um, go and cut that one up. Oh no, straps are out. My straps were all clean, but I fucking put them on a little branch. And they snapped, didn't it? So I got bloody dirty back straps for lunch or dinner. That's cool, that's cool. This is all cool. What a hunt. Now for the bloody pack out. See you back at the bloody camp.